Joining us on the phone lines right now is the daughter of Marvin Gaye, the actress Nona Gaye. Nona, welcome to TV One. Thank you so very much, Roland. Thank you for having me. Uh, this has to be a, a very difficult uh, moment for you. We certainly, uh, our prayers go out to you as well. Uh, just share your initial thoughts about Prince Rogers Nelson. Um, my initial thoughts uh, were um, really just that I couldn't internalize the fact that it was real when I heard it from my mother. My mother gave me the news. And um, I have just been uh, going over memories and, um, you know, uh, things that he used to uh, say and do and that we used to do together. And um, just really, I, I've had a, a, a very tough, tough day. Um, probably one of the toughest days I've had since my father passed, to be really honest with you. You know, um, he was an incredible man and an unbelievable, unfathomably talented artist. We all know that. But um, he was also a, a beautiful, beautiful man. And um, I miss him and I will miss him um, for the rest of my life. Nola, how long were the two of you together? Uh, about three years. Three years we were together. And yeah. uh, I had a conversation earlier with Anthony Hamilton, and one of the things that he said was, he said, Prince had an amazing sense of humor. Yeah, he did. He was actually quite funny. He really was. He made me laugh all the time. And I know people um, kind of uh, think of him as being very shy, and if you didn't know him, yes, um, he could give that off. but. Um, if you did know him, he was he was quite silly and and very funny and would crack a lot of jokes and um, I'm he, sure that's he, another thing I'll miss a lot. Um, he also was a very private man. Extremely, extremely private. Um, it's funny that you use that word uh, because the very first time that um, uh, we spoke. Um, I said, I know that you're a very private person um, uh, because he had asked me to kind of um, write him a letter. And, um, um, you know, so I did, but it was very, it was kind of a very private thing, our correspondence. And, um, you know, um, I think he kind of enjoyed uh, his privacy. Um, and um, it was very, um, it was very interesting for me because I was 17 and um, I'd never experienced anything like um, like him. And, you know, I never will again. He was amazing and one of a kind. And we've lost um, an incredibly wonderful and uh, talented man, an icon. And um, uh, like I said, it's been, very difficult, but um, he's in a better place now. You know, he's um, he's with uh, everybody else who um, who's left too early. You know, I think maybe they're up there jamming. I hope so. You know, that's what I like to think about is everybody together. My father and Michael and 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 now Prince. You know, um, being free of anything that's painful or. Um, uncomfortable on this earth that we uh, have to deal with.